Very low wave clear, a lot of pressure coming out from the Unicorns early if Power of Evil on Cassiopeia pushes in that cast in there. Um, see how that pushes out. Yeah, lane swap would definitely help with that as well. If you have these high pressure situations, you definitely want to lane swap away and just trade towers as we saw earlier. Um, basically go, you know, tower for tower. Well, let's see if the lane swap comes into play, Crepo. As Unicorns of Love versus the Copenhagen. fit with Gragas, definitely punishing him a little bit there. Lost, like you said, that weight on the body slam. The collision radius was reduced. Return gank here, Arax sniffing out Vardex. There is a teleport coming in from Young Buck. Vardex is trying to put damage onto Young Buck. We do see Vizachachi. He's going to pick up first blood there with the rise. It will be Airwax going down. And that's a double kill for Vizachachi. Showing the rise is doing great amounts of work. Vardex is going to find himself in a lot of trouble and he eats so many shots from the culling. He gets taken out, but we don't see any golden crowns delivered as Bard gets knocked under the tower. And Limited takes a magical journey away, but the turret shot and poison follows through. He ends up trading one for one, 80 carries for support. And Soren's going to be able to get away this time round. Vardex just running too close to a bush with not enough vision. While the Unicorns are ahead, they still have to be careful with face-checking brushes. However, dropping the Sivir, not too bad. Utility-based AD carry. Pickaxe, BF, Avarice, definitely in a good spot in this game. So far, Freeze, BF, Pickaxe, Hillisang's moving close. And they're going to get themselves in trouble once again. Unicorns of Love give up a kill by walking to the dark, and they do it a second time. And they walk towards the same. They really like that brush, Trevor. Get out, and they take the tower down bottom. Unicorns will want to get another objective of this, but... That was fantastic from Kikis, as he knocks Young Buck into the team and secures a kill. Yeah, Kikis proving that not only is he League Legends Pro, is also very good at pinball. Unlimited goes down. And a flash from Vizachachi gets the kill. Unicorns now still setting their sights on the inner turret. We do see another early ages. Teams are learning this week, something we didn't really see too much of last week. We do see Chachi, he's fought Young snare, Buck Two play. snares. Tower is Three low. Three snares. You see Bardax and Four snares. coming in. I think we're trying, we're starting to identify why this champion. The unicorns are making the world dance to their beat. Soren jumps in for the team fight. Unlimited, can you save your teammates? Tempered Fate comes down and Bardax, I think spell shielded that one. Soren does not get away as Bardax gets one more auto attack. Big critical hit onto Airwax. The barrel throws him against the wall. Another barrel throws it down. Agony's embrace will not keep him alive. And Vardags and Power of Evil get some more kills on the board. Oh, and he's that far ahead, you don't really mind. 8,000 gold. That was a one and a half. That's a flash route. Soren is there. nowhere to be seen. If you can flash snare a Cassidy and take him down before it's time to jump out, things are getting pretty dire here. Unicorns. They want to snowball this game. They don't want to take it to the late game like we've been talking about. They want to end this game early. So let's see if they can get this inhibitor turret. 20 seconds left before Soren is able to spawn. Tempered Fate's available. It's going to lock up a few Unicorns of Love, but it's simply not enough. Youngbuck gets knocked forward and everyone gets knocked away. A kill on the board here for Copenhagen Wolves goes to Unlimited before Youngbuck is dropped. That's a double kill for Power of Evil. And Unicorns turn their attention to the tower. Hill is signed three things. Yeah. It's very hard to do, uh, use that spell efficiently. This is why I think this lane swap... Uh... Oh, Young Buck is in so much trouble. The stun does connect, but he's got so many unicorns to cut him down. If you take the magical journeys, bring your buddies for the group discount, and then it might actually work out. Unlimited has to flash out here. You see him in trouble. Another magical journey. Unicorns deciding to follow suit. You get a journey, you get a journey. Everybody, Everybody gets a journey. Cosmic Binding connects. Dark Binding does not. So Soren, I think, charging up that Rift Rock. Chachi is now moving forward here on the hunt. Kickers has gone over, and there's one more barrel. Bardex gets the kill as Youngbuck is trying to find the support Morgana, and that's just not enough. Cosmic Binding goes wide. Power of Evil is poisoning the Copenhagen Wolves. They and get one more tower, and this is the last in here. You talked about it earlier, how Vardex did so little of his team's damage, but this time I can't blame him. So much damage <laughs> from Chachi, from Power Evil, and I'm just going to let the crowd finish this one off. Tempered Fate goes down, holds the last tower for a few more seconds, but the Unicorns of Love are onto the Nexus, and they destroy Copenhagen Wolves in 27 minutes.
That's what happens when Rise goes 2-0 in the landing phase. Yeah.